It says 10 a.m. I'm like, oh, and it's already 9.45 and we got a 45 minute drive. I stepped on the scale and I was 161 like like I've been for the past like five weeks and uh, we weighed myself with him in my arms and it was like 172 so he's like around 11 pounds which is so cool and crazy there's babe just chilling so we're just waiting <laughs> the appointment now it was good uh, I got a prescription for the copper IUD because I don't want my uh, hormones to change that much because I find when I was on the pill it was very like I was up and down and it really messed with my hormones a lot so I got the copper IUD and I've never been on any IUD before so we'll see how that goes hopefully by next week I'll have an appointment get that done and see how that goes um, yeah I told my doctor that I started working out on Monday and she's like oh that's great so I'm assuming that was my uh, my okay to keep working out because she didn't say anything she seen my incision she said it looks good it's gonna be red for a while and then you know just scar up which that's what happened last time so I'm not too worried and well yeah right now we're getting guacamole and then heading home we don't have one of those where we live so I'm taking it all in the healthiness. <laughs> so I mean, I caved last night and got a frying gravy at like 11 o'clock at night because I really, really wanted it. I'm trying to keep like my calories the same or higher because I don't want to lose my calories because I am breastfeeding and I don't want it to go down. Like I don't want to lose that much amount of weight because you lose a lot of calorie breastfeeding in the first place. So yeah, but overall the appointment went good. She was happy, nothing wrong, so it's great. Deliciousness. Mmm. It's so good. With my son, because I had to feed him a while ago. But we're almost home. Lexi's eating. Yum. Okay, focus. Okay. Auntie's holding baby. We had a good time, you know, on the drive. Alright, hey you guys. It is later on in the day. It is almost 8.30. I put my daughter to bed at 7, right? I go and lay down on the couch with my son, trying to get him to, like, go to sleep because he... You know, like, because he ate at around 6.30. And I just wanted him to, you know, fall back asleep so I could start cleaning the house and stuff. And then I go and pass out with him in the middle of the bed. I was just staring at him. I was just like, oh. And then I just passed out. It was pretty cute. If someone were to walk in, it would have been cute. So now I'm just about to do some dishes and just clean up a bit like the floor and stuff and pick up oh my god it's it's been a long day because we had to wake up early to go to the appointment that oh i forgot to mention i thought the appointment was at 10 30 right so we're we're about leaving the house and then i look on the calendar it says 10 a.m i'm like oh, and it's already 9 45 and we got a 45 minute drive so i ended up calling the lady and was like Oh, I'm so sorry, but we're going to be late. <laughs> and I mean, my son only ate around 9.30. So, like, it was really, like, hectic this morning. Or 9.15 he ate. I was trying to leave the house by 9.30, but we only left at, like, 9.40, 9.45. But holy mag. <laughs> Talk about the uh, rush. I mean, the lady was really nice about it. She just, like, let other people go first. And once I got there, then they just put me in. But, oh, God, it was... uh 
it, it sucked. The feeling sucked because I, I messed up. It was my fault. I didn't look at the calendar the night before and I should have, but oh well. Uh, Lexi had fun time with Auntie Schneider today. All day they went for a walk and did a bunch of stuff. So that was fun. Uh, my sister didn't end up going to the gym with me today like she has been the last two days because, well, she was watching her and then she had to work at 4. So by the time we got home, it was already 2.30. My son had to eat at like 3. By the time I was done feeding him, it was 3.30. Then I drove her to work, and then I went to the gym. So, I mean, it was a good day. I think that's why I'm extra tired lately. It's because I've been working out. And, like, I mean, I love the feeling, though. Like, I love feeling strong and when I'm at the gym. Even if I start out not really enjoying my workout as much, it turns into, like, it slowly goes into a really intense workout because I get myself pumped up after, you know, after the first, like, 10, 20 minutes. I'm just loving it. <laughs> I don't even know how many days in a row I'm going to go before I take a break. Like, that's how intense it is. I've been only doing certain stuff on certain days, though, to give my certain body parts, like, a break. <laughs> so, tomorrow it's cardio and abs. So, my sister wants to come with me tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Because I've never seen her so into, like the gym like she was trying to get into the gym while I was pregnant but I couldn't do you know the stuff that she wanted to do which was a lot of abs <laughs> and cardio and stuff like she was trying to lose weight and tone up and I mean I felt bad because I couldn't do that stuff like I was just trying to like maintain a healthy you know workout while pregnant but now I can do everything and we can do it together and and tomorrow it's not so much like weights as much and I know she enjoys that because every time we lift weights she's dying because we did leg day yesterday oh my god she's, she barely walked today but on me on the other hand I barely feel sore at all but that's just me because I'm used to it but yeah I'm uh today was a good day so now I'm gonna clean guys I'm gonna say good night now <clears throat> I hope you liked today's vlog and I hope you click that like and subscribe button for more awesome mommy vlogs or mommy videos or fitness videos you know all of the above and I can't wait to see you guys next time bye